today's episode, we ruin a perfectly good suspension on this Cadillac. Why? Just to look cool. <laughs> Today we're going to work on a big old land yacht, but well, we're not going to work on it. Someone else is actually coming by. We got Isaac from Diamonds uh, Diamonds and Wood Customs. I, I forget his name. We'll ask him when he gets here. But man, as y'all know, I got the interior on the lack is pretty, pretty fire, actually. Like, it's pretty good condition. I mean, for being a 76, the, the leather is a little dry, but it's, it's, uh, the interior is like one of the best parts about the car. The headliner is immaculate. The dash has no cracks. Uh, yeah, the, the steering wheel got a little bit messed up, but the one thing that kills the interior is this When I first got the car, it, it wasn't even cracked up like that. It was nice, but it was just too dry This is like, a, uh, not even vinyl. It's like a little hard plastic And then as soon as I started driving it, it started cracking up on me So he's actually gonna come through and uh, take care of that for us. So I'll click it back on when he uh, pull up yeah, that shit in. Like whenever you do it, you actually gotta. Cause it's gonna crack. I feel. Yeah, that's the thing about. I used to have a a seven. No, it was an eighty three. I had an eighty three sedan Deville green on the original eighty three uh, Kragers. Mhm. Mm and it had the real, real like, a lot, like this right here. Everybody thinks peanut butter is this shit. This fucking. This little tan. Sand. Yeah, this yeah, little sand. Yeah, that's that, sand. Nah, that's peanut, butter pe peanut butter is dark. Peanut butter is this. Yes. <laughs> Everybody like peanut butter peanut guts. Butter. And no. everybody on sand. Yes, that's no. hilarious. That's not, that's not peanut butter. That's peanut butter right there. And I used to have one that had, it was all peanut butter, bro. And uh, it's this leather shit right here. This is real leather and this vinyl. That's on the sides. Good. All right. I didn't even know that. I need to condition it before yeah, it cracks. Yeah, Look, the driver's side ain't bad. I just need to condition that shit. I don't want to redo them hoes. Yeah, if you just keep them, keep it, uh, how do you call it? Don't let it dry up. Keep that shit wet. Look, I think, I think we probably match more close to it. Let me just take a little piece off. I like that one, kind of. What you think? That one right there, right? Mm -hmm. Magnolia. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put, uh, put it in the sun, huh? Yeah. Right. The other type, the other brand. No. That's a little dark. It's kind of like a little coffee color. Oh, that one don't look maybe. It's a little bit too light. Yeah. See, I don't. See, this is like pebbly. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nah, the finish it. I don't care because they, they both of them gonna be done, mm -hmm. and I know we're not gonna match the seats, so it's all right. Yeah. Whatever it feels. Ooh, that looks close. Mm -hmm. Soho. So it might be that one. That one looks good. It looks close. Yeah, I think those two are probably be the closest. Okay. These are all grays and blacks. I'm just sorry. That's actually close too, though. That's the one we had seen. Yeah, it was. This yeah, because this is, this has that like that extra color in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hard to get it exact. Yeah, that one, or I think this one is still the best. Uh, just make hold the one here. Yeah, it's close. I think that one's like pretty much right on it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm so we'll ride with this one. All right. It's that Palmer. He just has that black fleet. He wants to sell it too. What, like a 9.6 fleet? It's a 9.6. What it's color was it? Black? Oh, black, black top. Oh, black on black on black. People love that colorway. Mm -hmm. He has a grill on there already too. I seen him driving it the other day. He just pulls it out every now and then. Big old wasp nest in this hole. Look, look what they be getting in that. 
Look back here. Big ass one. Where? Right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're not in there no more, but that's a big yeah, ass I'm one. It all fell out down there, you see? It doesn't shit in there. Yeah. Like in and, and like uh, putting clear coat on them and shit. Like decoration pieces. Yeah, yeah, like little decoration pieces. And I was making those screw tape. Yeah, I'll be watching, man. I see it when they're running out of gas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> We got Isaac over here taking off the door panels. Shout out to YouTube channel, bro. Man, uh, y'all look me up on uh, YouTube, uh, social media, everything, man. Diamonds and Wood Customs. Okay. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, we everywhere. Diamonds and Wood Customs. He gonna do our door panels up for us, so y'all go hit him up. Check out his social media. He gonna start doing a lot more YouTube stuff. Go give him a subscribe over there. Well, since we've been working on the lack today, well, not me, something got done to the lack. Let's go ahead and keep on going what we need to do. I actually need to go back and mess with that gas tank, one, to fix the uh, the gauge, get back that working, and it was it's strapped down, but it the straps need some work because y'all know I didn't put the original gas tank. And I did lower this car by putting these little clamps on the uh, springs, but since I got these lowering springs that we took off the donk, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll just. I'm gonna take them uh, springs out of here. Take the clamps off. They had some tall springs. Put those in the dunk, and then we'll put the we'll put the lowering springs on here to see what it looks like. Worst case, I just go back to how it is right now. <laughs> All right, got the jack stains under this big old thing. Whoo, this thing is heavy. Now that we're down here, I can show y'all. See this the wire? It plugs up right here. Uh, it doesn't reach. I'm gonna have to just extend it because obviously the tank's a little smaller. And then we got the ground that pulled off of it. I'm gonna try to hook this up because sometimes the gas tank will get ground itself. Some tanks you only gotta hook up one wire. Some you gotta hook up that, that and the ground. So the thing is with the ground, I'm gonna have to unstrap and uh, drop the gas tank down. But while we're here, I'm going to extend this wire and see if that'll work on the gas gauge. If not, I'll drop the thing. Might as well try to fix the gas gauge. So, because the, the gas tank's going to work out as long as it got gas, right, guys? <laughs> uh, well, anyways, got this thing on the, on the jack stands. Let me crawl up underneath here. I might have to bust them, uh, them shocks loose to take the springs. Maybe not. Let me go see. I had the little clampers to drop it, then the gas tank, I mean the gas tank, then the box helped dropping it. But let me take these, these big old long springs, put them in the donk, hopefully it'll jack it up, and I'll put the lowering springs in here for a little bit, like I said. Y'all remember I used the whole box of washers right there? <laughs> we might as well change that boat now that we're down here as well. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Uh, let's get it. Let's see. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna have to undo the shocks. The spring's still under pressure. Ooh, next day, guys. The jack was stuck underneath the car. Man, them things is humongous. Uh, but we were able to use Juan's dollies. I forgot I still had them. I put it up and I was able to pull that out. Man, that car looks good. What y'all think? Man, let me take it off those jacks and make sure nothing rubs. I'm gonna go back and forward. It looked like nothing rubbed up underneath there. But it was kind of dark. Let me take them things off. Woo, guys, that shit just looks good, guys. Man, now I wanna I wanna take the springs out the front and lower the front. I ain't gonna mess with it. I ain't gonna mess with it. That's already that's probably gonna be too low, actually. It might scrape everywhere, but it looks good, guys. What y'all think? Yeah, lowering in any vehicle makes it look good, at least my opinion. Wow, that looks real nice. Man, if only I could just lower it an inch in the front, I'd be happy with it. But man, it actually might be way too low. I'm going to have to drive it around. And uh, hopefully I can drive it like that. And if it can, and if I can, I'll dip the front just a tad. But man, look at that big boat sitting on the front. Imagine with the bags. That would look real nice. You know what I said? Let me take her for a ride. 
uh, see how how badly it's gonna scrape. And also, I hooked up the wires, but it looks like the gas gauge. I mean, I don't know if it's, it looks hell of it looks like way past full, so I don't know if that got fixed. Uh, I did put more gas in it actually. It might be full. We'll go check. Uh, we'll drive to the gas station and back. All right, let's see how badly this thing scrapes. Uh oh, we left the door open all day yesterday. Uh, well, not all day for a long time, so I had to jump it to crank it up. It hasn't had a uh, alternator or battery issue, but it <laughs> hopefully it don't die on us. Uh, what I was gonna say. Now it rides good so far, but I haven't hit no nothing, no speeds or nothing. Uh, I'm gonna just go slow to the gas station. Fill it up once more with gas. It might be full, actually. Uh, and then uh, we'll test drive it a little bit longer. Make sure this uh, alternator charges the battery a little bit. Man, it makes it look even more humongous, more wide body. Man, exhaust is actually next. Uh, you know what? We might. Uh oh, look what we got over there. A big long bed on some chops. Uh, I'm waiting for the door panels. He said it's going to be about a week or two. Uh, then the next thing up for the Cadillac is actually the exhaust. Y'all hear it? It shouldn't be that loud. I chopped the back of it off. So, next thing. As a matter of fact, well, today we got a few things to do. Get prepped for the show tonight. You know, it's Wednesday. We're going to go live. So, I got some things to do at the shop. I mean, at the garage. But tomorrow, we'll go. We'll drive it by the exhaust. Hopefully, they could uh, hook us up. And then... Uh, Make it sound quiet again because actually the motor is pretty quiet up here. Check it out. Once it warms up, it gets pretty quiet. So, got to match that exhaust. Woo, nowhere near close to full. Look, it's taking 15 gallons now. So, yeah, my gauge ain't working. Oh, we spill action a little bit. There goes. That's full, full. <laughs> Next day, yesterday we had to swap the uh, radiator on the hauler that was born, so I didn't really film any of that. Plus, Frank was cursing up a storm. We'll get demonetized in an instant. <laughs> well, anyways, I drove it around yesterday and it rode pretty good. I do need new shocks in the back, but now I have to. I know I shouldn't, but this. Needs to go down. Not too much. I don't want to go too crazy low. But I'm thinking I'm going to pop everything off and then uh, cut half a turn. Let it, uh, so we can see it a little bit more even. Really, it's not necessary. Uh, especially because I'm trying to get rid of it. So I'm just doing work. And But I just, the, 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 the uh, attitude, I mean, the stance is everything. And this car just has an attitude the lower it goes, boy. <laughs> All right, pop that wheel off. Obviously, the easiest, cheapest way to drop any car. Uh, let me see if it'll catch it. Y'all can see it back there. It's a little dark. Uh, it's to chop the spring. In any car, obviously, is it the proper way? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> but first and foremost, we're gonna have to take the shock off. Uh, put some, put the jack up underneath it. Relieve some of the pressure. Pop this ball joint. And then uh, we're gonna have to uh, maybe get spring compressor. I got a spring compressor. Sometimes you don't need it, sometimes you do. Uh, let me put a jack stand because we're gonna need the jack to relieve some of the pressure of the Aeon. Man, I love looking at old AC Delco parts. AC Delco parts. I just think they got a cool look to them. Next time I go to Raleigh's, I'm gonna be like, hey, I need that big D. They're gonna be like, what the hell? I'm talking about shocks, bro. Give me that big D shot. <laughs> Ooh, pop that bar joint. Man, look at that. Check it out. That's pretty cool. I ain't never seen an offset one like that. Uh, man, it's kind of cold. I just can't do the cold, guys. It ain't even that cold, but I just suck at working in the cold. But it is what it is. Let me try to knock this out. We already started. <laughs> Let's finish it off. 
Uh, I don't know if that the springs gonna just come down. I think I might have to do the sway bar links. Take them off, maybe. I do gotta take off the sway bar link, but man, I think even taking that off ain't gonna relieve that much pressure. Let me go ahead and get the coil spring compressors. If you got the compress this uh the spring compressors, go ahead and use them from the get-go. I was just trying to be lazy. That spring out for sure. I wasn't gonna be able to do it without the spring compressor. That's a tall ass spring, bro. That thing long. Now I'm not sure. Usually I would cut a couple turns, but we don't have to go that low. I'm kind of between half a turn or a full turn. Now for the for those of you asking that don't know too much, uh, but have heard that if you heat the springs up, you mess them up. That's not the way to drop it. Yes, but we don't have a torch. That's the easy way. We wouldn't have even had to take nothing apart. What I tend to do is cut it with a grinder or with a saw saw the actual spring and it don't get heat up. The problem is whenever you heat it up with the torch, it loses its it's compared the spring deal. It, it, it'll like it'll be all twisted and all crazy like. But the way I'm cutting it is I'm just gonna cut a turn. I'm probably either right there, just go straight right there. I'm scared to do a whole turn because we don't need that much lower and the thing is I don't have any other springs So if we cut too much <laughs> We're kind of messed up, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do half a turn or a full turn I Went ahead and we did the whole turn Hopefully it's not too much. I don't want to dip it too much in the front uh, Maybe I should have measured to see exactly how much is gonna dip eh, Oh well <laughs> All right, now let's try to put this thing all back in there. That's the hard part. Taking shit off ain't usually the hard part. <laughs> Getting it all to go back together. Yeah, and I ain't trying to buy no suspension parts just because the budget on this Cadillac done been blown through. I was supposed to make some good money on this lag. Now I'll probably break out even. <laughs> it is what it is. As long as we can get to drive it with the attitude alignment. Try to go back up in there. Hey, whenever y'all do this, just be careful. A lot of times that done slipped up on me and I done, whoo. It's a lot of pressure on this. So just whenever you do do use spring compressors, just make sure it's centered and, and uh, be careful with it because that is under a lot of pressure, bro. Get that thing all back together. Let me slap these wheels on. Let's see how much lower we can go or how much lower we went. Not that we can go, it's already a done deal. <laughs> Equally worse. Alright guys, moment of truth. Let's see how much we lowered it. Not too long ago, it's like a street lead. Yeah. I saw you at the club and I walked in like, Kelly, what up man? Like grab whatever you want. We had like this whole table for you. Like, grab whatever you want, dude. And I grabbed some. Uh pieces, again the jack stuck? <laughs> you left. I went up the next morning to see a video of you jumping off the roof. What are you doing? Jumping off these trucks? This night at this diamond mansion we were staying at okay. in New York, and it wasn't safe. Like, but there was this air mattress. It didn't. It would bounce you off. I thought it was on the couch. I thought it was an air mattress. It's like an air mattress. Oh. Did you know it? And, and it was gonna bounce you. I knew that. I knew it. To his back or to his side. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. All right, there we go. Not as low as the back, but you gotta also remember we only did this side. Once we do the other side. But it did go lower. I like it. Let me do the other side. Following morning. I didn't finish yesterday. I should have finished. Really sitting down, sitting down. This should have been like a two-hour job total, total, total. But you know my ass be getting distracted. But anyways, let's knock out this other side and see what we, uh, the final result. Got everything assembled on this side. Moment of truth. Let's see how low it went down. You know, as y'all can see, we only, uh, Took off a little donut on each side. So this is the moment of truth. Last time when we lowered the other side, you can't really get it because, you know, whatever. <coughs> but, anyways, let's pop this tire on. Oh, yes, y'all. We got it looking good. I like it. Of course, I want more lower, but you can't go too low because, you know, we got a turn and shit. Oh, uh, man. Now, for the, I got to drive it around the block, let, make sure them springs settle in there where they need to be. It looked like they popped right into place. 
but it's always best to drive it and hopefully we didn't ruin it we only cut one turn so it should still ride pretty good we actually need shocks all the way around so i think that's perfect because if we put fresh socks i'm sure fresh socks fresh shocks in the back when we find them it's probably gonna bring it up a, a tad bit the front needs shocks too but that heavy ass motor probably gonna wear them boys in quick so all right man you know what let me move some things around let's go for a test drive pull around in the driveway so far so good i mean it's a little stiff in the back but we already had that before we even missed the front uh we really ain't got no shocks so it's riding on all springs i mean the shocks are in there but they ain't doing anything really uh the front still feels the same i kind of want to hit some uh bumps though make sure the uh them sit them springs get settled up in there and plus i want to find a nice flat parking lot so we can take a look at it uh we can't this goddamn car so goddamn long we can't even get a good look at it at the house <laughs> uh let me drive it around for a few minutes and then uh i'll click y'all back on when we find a nice little parking lot so i'm driving i don't know if y'all can see it uh a brake light came on huh and to be honest with you, I've never had issues with the brakes. This car's still braking, but it just doesn't feel. Uh, yeah, nah, something's definitely wrong with the brakes. <laughs> I mean, let me get, let me let this guy pass me, cause uh, I mean it's stopping. It's just nah, they don't, they really. Nah, they don't feel good at all. Uh, <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. <laughs> well, nah, let, let, let's keep creeping though. Let's find a little, a nice little parking lot. But the actual suspension wise, I've been hitting bumps and shit and it feels good. Feels like it did before. There we go, y'all. That big thing looks good on the floor. The front ride's good. I don't think I'm gonna have to do anything to it. Oh yes. As y'all can see a little altitude change can give it a bigger attitude, you know what I'm saying? I really wanna bag it, slam it on the ground. But that already looks a lot better. Uh, the only thing I am gonna do, we're gonna get some back shots. It's a little stiff in the back. Uh, just because the shocks are shot. I ain't even gonna put shocks in the front. It still rides good. Comment down below if y'all think it was worth it. I think it looks damn good. But I honestly need to put it for sale. I have too many cars right now. And tinkering on all these cars, y'all know costs money. So if anybody's interested in this car here shortly, I'm gonna fix a few things. Of course, the brakes, that just, uh, something happened with them right now. Door panels getting fixed. Uh, a few other little things. Oh, exhaust, we need a new exhaust. Y'all hear how loud it is? That's definitely not how it used to be. I chopped off a piece of it. Uh, so we're gonna get new exhaust. A few little minor things and, we'll, and she'll be back up for sale. But there y'all go. Lowering any type of vehicle makes it look good. <laughs> Did we ruin it in some people's eyes? I'm sure. But man, that thing look good. It makes it even look longer. <laughs> With that being said, appreciate y'all watching. Catch us on the next one.